So gut health dramatically changes in perimenopause and the change accelerates as they go further in perimenopause until they get to menopause. And then it stays in a very dysfunctional state unless interventions are, are adopted in that time. So what's actually happening? Well, number one, you know, their hormones are changing, right? And so they're producing less estrogen. And as a result of having less estrogen, their diversity in the microbiome shrinks. And when your diversity in the microbiome shrinks, pathogens start to take over. So what tends to happen in a menopausal or perimenopausal gut is you're starting to see a lowering of diversity, an increasing of pathogens, and as a result, a dysfunction in the barrier system of the gut. This is in part where a lot of the symptoms associated with perimenopause come from, the metabolic symptoms, the brain fog, right, the, um, the, the issue of weight gain, um, and then the increase in things like bone issues and even cardiovascular issues. A lot of that stems from the changes in the gut that are occurring in that stage. So it becomes really important if someone is dealing with early stages of perimenopause or any stage of perimenopause, even menopause, to really focus in on diversity of the gut microbiome, rebalancing the pathogen to commensal load, and then sealing up that lining of the gut, right? The, the Just Thrive probiotic, the spore-based probiotic, has been shown to be able to support and increase diversity, improve the presence of keystone species, which balances the microbiome, go after the barrier function and address and deal with leaky gut, and modulate immune response. So it can be an amazing support for women that are going through these drastic changes in their lives. The last thing they need is more gut dysfunction, which just accelerates all of the negative symptoms of perimenopause and menopause.